So welcome back to Morning Break. In six years, the Club Car Championship has established itself as Savannah's professional golf tournament, now drawing as many fans from all across the area as it does from the host club at the landings. Cheyenne Overby is the event's tournament director. She's here this morning with details on how that Corn Ferry Tour entering its sixth season could be even more appealing to the general public this year. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Thanks for having and me. I, I know the answer to that question really <laughs> is busy because you have been on your phone since the moment I set eyes on you this morning and you've put it down for about four <laughs> minutes, five minutes when we're going to talk here, but then you'll be right back on it. Probably returning messages that you've missed in the last four minutes. The watch has already <laughs> vibrated about five times, so Neat. we had well, it back it, out. It is so great to see how this event has, has grown over the years, now completely back, you know, full fans, no restrictions, and uh, really approaching an exciting year this year. It, it feels a little surreal for us. I think when I sit here with you and media every year and we talk about how does it get bigger and better and the fact that we're in year six alone seems uh, strange to me, really. So we're really excited, headed towards our biggest year yet and can't wait. Fantastic. 12 and days. <laughs> 12 days, 12 to days our first to the event. first to event, our first 17 event. days to the first round of the tournament. <laughs> there you but go. Of course, just like your work doesn't stop year round, your work for the tournament week begins well before the first shot is struck. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> A year and two months before the <laughs> tournament is when we start on the next one. All right, so that first event you were talking about is actually the 5K. <laughs> it is, yes, our Outrun Hunger for Kids Cafe 5K. Uh, we've been doing that with Second Harvest and Nancy and Ken Larson involved for uh, three or four years now, so we're looking forward to it. And that's right at Deer Creek, the, the it is. Uh, Sunday before uh, the, the event, right? Yep, 9 a.m. We'll stroll through a golf course. We hope people walk off St. Patrick's Day and come join us. And then we start seeing the players get in there, and, and it really Thursday is when it heats up. That's when you know, full spectators and uh, a lot of activity around the golf course. A lot of activity. A few things that we're excited to do again this year is, one, we're hosting the Chamber Business Connection, which we haven't been able to do in a few years for a lot of different reasons. If there's a delay on Thursday, that'll be the end. <laughs> um, that's what's affected it for a few years. So Friday, we have our Executive Women's Day event, which is still our sold mm -hmm. out. It's our largest special event. Uh, Full-blown open to the public Thursday through Sunday. Our mm -hmm. fan zones open Friday through right. Sunday kids activities across the golf course, Military Appreciation Day on Saturday, uh, always our biggest day, and now following that up with our new club car concert on the range uh, with Yacht Rock Review, and then it continues Sunday. And so. that's on Saturday? That's and on Saturday. that, you think, is going to make this year's Saturday maybe the biggest day you've ever had in the history of the tournament so far? Yeah, you would say everything's pointing towards that trajectory, so you're in charge of the weather on Saturday, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Uh, but yes, we're, we're thrilled. I, it was always our intent to have the concert on Military Appreciation Day. That brings a really regional audience right. for us. Um, and we want to celebrate that that many people are on site. So we're excited to end it that way this year. And uh, we'll see what that practice range looks like. Like any professional golf tournament, it's about so much more than golf. You're mentioning all the, you know, the other ancillary events going on around there. Some people might come out just to go to the military outpost, just to see the Military Appreciation Day. But if you're coming out to watch golf, you're going to see some pretty great golf as well. Oh, it's so true. We always say Corn Ferry Tour event is really a, a community event, right? We want everyone to be involved. We want to find a way for people to come out if they're not a golf fan. And if you are, there's incredible golf going on right around you. Uh, I was talking about this earlier this month, but it's kind of insane to think about where our alumni are now. And mm -hmm. you watch that build in the first few years of a tournament, and you know it's coming, right, where everyone starts to talk about, he was in Savannah. Uh, I did it myself. Max Homa, if he sees this, please forgive me. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize Homa was in our field in 18. I, wow. I thought he was just past us, and yeah. I went back and checked all the field lists. I was like, oh, my goodness. We have a hilarious video of him like in a closet with somebody from PGA Tour Digital wow. doing a, a bit before he became the Twitter king. So uh, people like Max Homa, obviously Scotty Scheffler, yeah. our reigning Masters champion, who was our 2019 runner-up. Sam Burns. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. Top 10 players in the world now. It's, it, uh, yeah. know, all played here in Savannah yeah. at the Corn Ferry event yeah. out there at the Club Car Championship. Who knows who we're going to see this year? Uh, you know, the, the, the future stars are coming through our town. Uh, real quick, uh, tickets are already selling. Uh, how can folks get those? Club Car Championship, ATTLC.com, on sale. Uh, we do have some things nearing a sellout, so if people want to come join us, go on and get those tickets. Excellent. One uh, exciting addition this year, food trucks are the concessions? They are. We Very can't cool. wait. All over. Excellent. Cheyenne, thanks so much for taking the time. Get back to your phone. I know you're <laughs> going to be real busy. Thanks, Tim. We'll see you soon, all right? Yeah. All right, coming up, travel continues to rise as people prepare for spring break and St. Patrick's Day. We will tell you how the Savannah Hilton Head International Airport is preparing.